talk about March Madness, we should start using that to describe the weather here. Yeah, we should, <laughs> it, it has been March Madness. We're all over the place. And speaking of March, this month is Red Cross Month, and all month long we've been highlighting the things that the Red Cross does in our area. This includes helping people become prepared for emergencies or disasters. Joining us now live over Zoom is Lola Gilliard Mays. Lola, what preparedness programs are offered by the Red Cross? Hi, uh, we have Pedro, which we're dressed like a penguin and we go into schools from K to second grade. We also have the Pillowcase Project, which we go into schools or communities and from third grade to fifth grade. We also have Be Red Cross Ready for older people uh, from six to, to adults. And we have Hands On CPR and we have the Sound the Alarm event. Lola, you mentioned the schools a lot. Why is it so important to talk to the young kids about being prepared? Because they reach our their parents or the people that they live with. It's helping them to prepare to keep to reduce fear, um, anxiety. Um, it just keeps them calm and know how to be prepared. And families need to have those conversations. They need to have that plan in place in case a disaster strikes. Why is it so important to prepare for emergencies or disasters before they happen? Because it keeps them prepared to where in case they know what to do in case of a disaster, in case they are put out their homes in case of a fire, they know how to prepare for anything that's going on as a disaster. You mentioned Pedro and some of your other programs. How can people get in touch with you? If I'm a teacher watching right now, or if I have an after school program, how can I reach out to the Red Cross to get you all to come and talk to our kids? Yes, they can call, email me at Lola, L O L A dot Gillard, G I L L A R D, Mays, M A Y E S, at redcross.org, or they can call me at 334 201 5165. We talked about families planning and how important that is. What all should be included in an emergency or disaster plan? Well, basically with um, the pillowcase project, we go into the schools, we show them and we ask them what are some of the things that they think are important, like a flashlight, a radio, they're in social security card, things that they need in case they're displaced out of their homes. Lola, a lot of times, at least here in our state, we think of disaster, we think of tornadoes, or even hurricanes, but you all help people prepare with things like smoke detectors. Talk a little bit about that program. Yes, um, we at the Red Cross, we also do free smoke alarm install. Uh, we did one in Selma and we did several around the, com the com sounding areas um, in Mississippi as well. Also, anyone here in the Alabama area can just call um, 334-201-5165 or go on the redcross.org and sign up for a free smoke alarm. And we like to host events in communities that are looking for smoke alarms. We just heard our meteorologist Amanda Kerr and talk about the potential for some severe weather later in this week. So now's the time to get ready for that. I know you have resources available to help people. Where can they go? They can go to redcross.org preparedness. Redcross.org slash preparedness right there. I, I know you can find those links on the homepage of redcross.org as well. Lola, I know there are so many valuable resources, one of those being your volunteers. You could not respond to all of these disasters without your volunteers. You always need more. What do you need people to help with and how can they sign up? They can sign up with redcross.org slash volunteer today. And do they need any special training? What do they need to do if they are ready? They go to the link, what's the next step? They just follow each um, process and it'll take them to the designated person that will contact them. And no, they do not need training. We just need volunteers that want to give their time. You will train them for whatever area that they are going into and the time commitment depends yes. on what they want to do so they can really tailor it to their schedule as well. Lola, thank you yes. so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. Thank you.